Okay, we're back. So uh, next is the going to be blocking, we're going to be blocking in the painting. So this is our first layer and it can be kind of rough, uh, play, roughly placed down with the brush. And because we're going to be putting further layers down. So with blocking in, we want to choose our general color palette of what we're looking at. Now I am going to try to be pretty true to color. I've kind of reduced my color palette to a general triad. And so that is going to be orange, violet, and green. Now we are kind of going to vary a little bit from the orange, but just for the purposes of understanding it as a triad, we're sort of working generally within that color palette. Now remember you had the option of doing a, choosing either a, um, a contemporary color, or not contemporary, uh, a complementary color palette or a triad. So that's the triangle in any, any one of the um, trying any colors that make a triangle on the color palette. So actually what I am doing, I forgot, I is more of a red, violet, yellow, orange, and blue, green. And we can kind of shift around a little bit from that. Like I said, I am trying to be somewhat true to the colors, but uh, what I have here is the color, the colors, that are kind of closest to a kind of a primary. Now remember there is the, uh, there are color co-primaries and there's color bias that every color, every paint has, and it can lean on one direction or another. So you wanna make sure that you're mixing the right colors to get what you need. Otherwise you're going to be battling, um, battling the color mixing. Um, my ultramarine leans a little bit red, so it may be hard getting some of the greens that I want to get, but we're going to go for it. I have um, cadmium red medium and cadmium yellow white. I just want to keep my color palette fairly simple, and so I did not get other co-primaries, or I'm not using them in this, in this painting. I also have titanium white and burnt umber. So that's all I'm going to be using today. And one rule of thumb when you're going to lay down your painting or you're just working on your painting, you want to work back to front. So I'm going to block this in. I want to get the sky in first. So I'm just going to lay down some blue and I'm just looking at the colors and matching the colors on my image and matching them to the colors that I have. So I am just supposing, okay, so I need ultramarine blue, and then I'm gonna lay down some white on my color palette. Not, I'm not doing any mixing of general colors yet. I'm just mixing the, um, well, actually I am gonna mix a little bit of yellow in here. I don't want it to get too green to start. So I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of yellow and maybe even a little bit of red. So I am actually going to mix. Now, a couple rules of thumb that we talked about earlier were mixing paints with higher tint strength, mixing those into the paints with lower tint strength. So tint strength, tinting strength is um, which color has the higher ability to alter the other color. Generally, that's darker into lighter colors. Um, so we are going to mix, um, let's see, reds are pretty powerful, uh, but we are going to mix this darker color into the lighter color. So we're just gonna have a little bit of yellow. So this is my, this is called the palette knife. So I mix, this is great for mixing larger amounts. And you just pick it up. So I, I picked up some red just now. Oh, and I broke it. Good thing I have another, another palette knife here. Sometimes your palette knife can be kind of stiff. So you want to be careful about a bit of paint on the wall, so I'll be right back. 